Hiya. Now, before we get things going, I want to take you through the Stars and the Rise Hall of Fame, and it's this way. This is where it all started in 1990 when Maxine Barry won as Shirley Bassey, and she was followed by Nat King Cole in 1991 there. Remember Patsy Klein in 92 and 93 was when I joined the show and Alison Moyo became the winner. 94 saw the first of our Marty Pellows and he was followed by Bobby Darren in 95. Our second Marty Pello was in 96 areas and last year it was Olivia Newton-John. Who will it be this year? Might be somebody in here. Hi everybody, Yay! good luck. Hey, dancers Yay! coming through, good luck. It'll be fine, don't worry about a thing. You all look gorgeous as well. They've all got to make a journey out of this room. Follow me, come on. We've got to go this way. And this is the journey that our finalists will make. And in fact, the winner will make the journey twice. Come on, everybody. It's fabulous, I can't wait. Come on, this is the bit I like best. Okay, this is the staff here. Staff family, they're all family. And there's our father, John Chapman. Neil will be on the door. Live from Manchester, it's the 1998 Grand Final of Stars in Their Eyes. Now, please welcome your host, Matthew Kelly. And welcome to the 1998 Stars and the Rise Live Grand Final. This is it. This is the night. The night that's about 12 extraordinary talents and you. So whether you're perched on your leather look three-piece, draped on your uncut maquette chaise, or if you're like me, plonked on your orthopedic recliner, you can join the rest of our millions of viewers in our live grand final vote. This year sees television history being made, and for sheer technical achievement, it could rival the lava lamp. Because not only do we have our huge phone-in vote, but if you've got a computer and a link to the net, you can take part in the UK's first live TV internet vote to decide our 1998 grand final winner. So pick up the phone or log on to the net, place a vote and make our day. We need your votes, but we don't need them yet. You can have your say at the end of the show when you've seen all our finalists. You know, I cannot believe it's been a whole 12 months that have passed since the last final. But I promise you, you have just entered a spice-free, gather-free, and definitely football-free zone. <laughs> Except, did you see... No. Did you see the Nigeria-Spain match this afternoon? Oh, 3-2. That first magic Spanish goal, Kera Fierro, from the free kick in the 21st minute. Then the equaliser from Adepoju, first minute of the second half. <laughs> Raul's dream left foot gave Spain the lead until Lawal La drew level in the 73rd minute before Elise scored that winner from the wonderful 30-yard strike. What a glorious game that was! <laughs> I'm telling you, the things I have to do to prove that we're a live show. <laughs> 12 people who couldn't relax in front of the big game this afternoon were our finalists, and they're all backstage, as you've seen. They're very ex excited, they're extremely nervous, but extraordinarily talented. In the next 90 minutes, we'll have perfect pop, rock, soul, jazz and blues, performed by a galaxy of musical stars that you couldn't find in any other game of two halves. So it doesn't, what, it doesn't matter what you like to shake your booty to, our finalists will get you strutting your funky love thong around the living room. And who better to kick us off than someone who's been waiting since the chilly days of March to come back through our famous doors. He won us over with his performance as R. Kelly from our very first show, finalist number one. 19-year-old Damien Grant might be living in Manchester, but his eyes are very firmly fixed on Hollywood, even if it's just to see what the latest releases are going to be. Since being the first winner in this series, Damien has practised so hard, you'll believe he can fly tonight. No doubt he'll be dedicating his R. Kelly to Carol Lamb, the music teacher who first inspired his performance. I feel so excited about tonight. I'm fit to burst. Stars and Rise has really helped me focus on what I want to do in life, and that is to be a professional singer, and Manchester has been so supportive with me. Um, Going on first is not really a problem to me. Um, it would have been better if I went on second or third, but I'm quite privileged to be first to break the ice. I hope everyone enjoys it. 
You might think being first is worst, but I can't think of anyone better to get us going. Please welcome back a very brave man as tonight, singing live once again, Damien Grant is R. Kelly! <laughs> First of all, I think you couldn't have had better backing than from the Birmingham Mass Choir, ladies Thank and gentlemen. You. Well, I couldn't think of anybody more fitting than a Manchester boy to start us off, and you were absolutely dazed on your heat, and I've got something that'll daze you even more. R. Kelly's record company sent their best wishes to Damien for his appearance on Stars in Their Eyes, and R. Kelly himself has sent a message of good luck. Oh. Good man. <laughs> you're going to be... You're going to be a singer in your own right, I'm telling you. If you want, you want to vote for R. Kelly, the number to call is 08919800001. Or you can log on to our website, www.itv.co.uk. Or you could try www.starsintheeyes.co.uk and register your vote there, ladies and gentlemen. Damien Grant as R. Kelly. Please hold your horses and your votes. The lines won't open till the end of the show. Anyway, there's no need to hurry to make your minds up because there's mess masses of uh, talent to come, like finalist number two. She knocked us out with her brilliant Karen Carpenter back in show two. Say hello again to the gorgeous Yvonne Milligan. Yvonne works for a top advertising agency in Staffordshire. 
so she spends her days power dressing, brainstorming and hot desking. But that's nothing compared to what she faces when she gets home. Glenn, her husband of ten years, and her two sons, Harry and Sam, all want their egg and chips. So Yvonne has had to learn to juggle her career and the demands of a hungry family. Mind you, if it wasn't for Glenn, Yvonne wouldn't be here at all, as he sent in her audition tape without telling her. Well, thank you very much, Glenn. That's right, and if it hadn't been for Glenn sending the tape in in the first place, I wouldn't actually be sitting here today. Actually, on my heat, um, when Matthew called my name out, I, I thought he made some sort of mistake. I, I couldn't believe it. It was absolutely fantastic. And as for tonight's live final, well, to be here and to have the opportunity to sing in front of millions of views is something I've always wanted to do. And it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Karen Carpenter was such a star, but no one does her memory more justice than finalist number two. With Glenn in the audience and the children at home, our thoughts are with her. As tonight, singing live once again, Yvonne Milligan is Karen Carpenter! <laughs> You're as stunning as a brunette as you are as a blonde, and your voice is as stunning as Karen Carpenter's. In fact, it's almost a shame that the poor woman had to wear pink loon pants, really. <laughs> it's a wonderful performance. Congratulations. Thank you. If you want to vote for Karen Carpenter, the number to ring is 0891980002. Don't forget, if you're a net voter, you can register your vote at www.itv.co.uk or our own www. <laughs> Stars in their eyes.co.uk, ladies and gentlemen, Yvonne Milligan as 
Karen Carpenter. <laughs> Remember, the voting lines won't open until we've heard all 12 finalists, so save your vote till then. Well, it's all over by the waiting for Karen and R. All they've got to do is sweat it out till the result. But finalist number three has got the toughest few minutes of his life to come. I think he'll be fine, because back in show three, he was cool as a cucumber. He was the man who gave us an unforgettable Gary Barlow, and the man was Phil Lawrence. The perfect lad to have around the house. 27-year-old Phil hails from the sunny borough of Wanstead in East London. When he isn't dusting his knick-knacks, Phil likes to put pen to paper and write his own songs. And his ultimate ambition is to write and perform as the UK representative at the Eurovision Song Contest. After his performance tonight as Gary Barlow, Phil should do a lot better than Nil Poir. It was a brilliant experience being on Stars in Their Eyes last time. Um, and I certainly didn't expect to win because everyone on my show was uh, excellent. So that was a bonus. Um, this time I'm not quite so nervous. Um, things are a bit more familiar now. I know what to expect. I've just got to really concentrate on the technical side of things. And um, hopefully I'll go out there and enjoy it. Everyone else will enjoy it and people at home will enjoy it. So fingers crossed. Representing East London, take that, fans, and the noble art of housekeeping tonight. Singing live once again, Phil Lawrence is Gary Barlow. There, that last note was there. I know you like to keep a lid on things, don't you? <laughs> Wonder where your lid is now. Yeah. 
Gary Barlow sent a message to wish Philip all the luck in the world. He says that he'll be rooting for you tonight as he's watching the show and he hopes that Philip can dance better than he can. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we saw it at the piano. Well done, Doc. Especially that last note. Good on you. If you want to cast your vote for Gary Barlow, the number to dial is 0891 or, if you're online, you can take part in our internet vote at www.itv.co.uk or try www.starsintheirise.co.uk. I think you're getting the picture now. Ladies and gentlemen, Phil Lawrence as Gary Barlow. <laughs> if you do go online and take part in our internet vote, this is what you'll find there. All you have to do is click on the star that you want to vote for, but not until the end of the show. Well, we've seen a fantastic trio of performers get this final off to the best bang since the big one. And we've still got nine more show-stopping, hand-clapping, foot-stomping, jolly good performances to come before things turn very tense when we get down to the voting. Who could want for more? So, in the words of the song, don't go changing. We'll see you in a couple of minutes. Bye-bye. <laughs> Welcome back to the Stars in Their Eyes Live Grand Final. Our first three finalists have all done their thing in front of a select 15 million of you, which sounds very scary, and it is. But I think what they've got to face now is even scary, because right now, R. Kelly, Karen Carpenter and Gary Barlow are all pacing up and down, chewing each other's fingernails, waiting for the result. <laughs> The next person to join them for that agonising wait will be finalist number four. You know, it's not easy being a star's finalist. You need the dedication of an artist, the stamina of an athlete and the voice of an angel. And luckily, our next finalist has all three. You'll remember him as Al Green, but we know him as George Anthony. Senior personnel officer George knows his way round the high-tech world of computers just as well as he knows his way round a good song. And so he should. He's been singing since he was seven and not only singing, but also writing his own songs. George reckons he's got enough material to fill a double album. So who knows, after tonight, he may well get the chance. Stars is very special to me. It's given me the opportunity to perform and opened up a number of doors. It's given me the opportunity to sing, dance, and just play to the audience. Um, the orchestra is brilliant. It's brilliant. It's so, so supportive. The, or the horn section is uh, so authentic. And tonight, when I come through those doors, well, it's going to be like a second home. Every time he smiles, he lights up the studio. His wife, Julie, encouraged him all the way, and never more so than tonight. With that classic 70s smoocher in that classic 70s suit, tonight, singing live once again, George Anthony is Al Green! <laughs>
just can't see Cause you never do that to me Would you be How 70s, honestly. It's such a natural, that smile. You see, that's why you're in personnel. You are a natural for this, I'm telling you. And it has opened doors. It has opened doors for you, haven't you? Tell them the two gigs that you've played since you were on the heat. Uh, Luton Carnival. Luton Carnival. And with Emperor Roscoe. And with Emperor Roscoe. Who could want for more? <laughs> Luton Carnival, blimey. If you want to cast your vote for Luton Lad, Al Green, the number to punch in is 0891980004. Or you can get all technical by voting on our website and it can be found at www.itv.co.uk or oh, just bung in stars in their eyes instead of ITV. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. George Anthony as Al Green. <laughs> Thanks, George. <laughs> and don't bother voting just yet. The phone lines won't be up and running till the end of the show. And that includes interneters as well, I'm afraid. Our fifth finalist South American roots made for an explosive performance or as we say in Manchester she didn't half give it some welly when she blew us all away as Cher she's Adriana Foster Brazilian born Adriana lives with her husband Steve in Edmonton North London they first met when Adriana applied to be the singer in Steve's band she didn't get the job but she got Steve when she isn't sorting out her S bend Adriana works for the Brazilian Embassy not only is she a great talent and a great decorator, but also a great diplomat. Well, actually, she works in accounts. But now's the time for her to whip out the terps, wipe down the brushes, and take her place in the spotlight. Well, I got so many letters from the public. I had a great response, really. Um, I feel that stars in their eyes gave me the chance to go up on the stage and show what I love doing most. And uh, definitely opened the doors for me to carry on my career as a singer. Um, at the moment, I'm working with a stew of musicians, writing my own material. Um, I feel that tonight's show is going to be wonderful, because we're all winners, as far as I'm concerned. Adriana and Cher are both gorgeous, both talented and both got powerful voices, but you'd be hard-pressed to tell which one of them's here tonight. Because tonight, singing live once again, Adriana Foster is Cher!
Well done. Fantastic. Nice. Has your mother seen the heat in Brazil yet? Yeah. <laughs> she, what does she think? Oh, she thinks it's wonderful. It is so, you're, you're a tribute, really, to our makeup department, Glenda Wood and uh, Sarah Jane Ellis in the wardrobe department. This is, isn't she exactly <laughs> like her? I think it's stunning. If you want to cast your vote for Cher, call 0891 980005. Ladies and gentlemen, Adriana Forster as Cher. <laughs> Turning back time is exactly what our next finalist can do by about 20 years, actually, to the heady days of the 70s, the decade of Afghans, loon pants, the clangers and David Gates of bread. And here's the man who'll take us there, finalist number six, Mark Roberts. Bolton boy Mark loves his day job selling motor parts, but at night he's to be found practising his karate, playing five-a-side footy or, more likely, singing at his local pub. But despite being so busy, Mark always manages to spend time with his two boys, Darren and Mark Jr. And I bet they and most of Bolton will be singing along with him tonight. When I won the show, it was absolutely magical. I went through the roof. It's an absolutely magical experience. Um, I could actually hear the audience help me along with the song at the end, which was a big help. And I won't mind them doing that again tonight for me. It was a big, big help. Um, I can actually see the finishing post now along with the other 11 of us. But what we need to do is take our time, savour the moment and enjoy it. It's absolutely fabulous, fabulous experience. With a soulful rock ballad from 1970 that worked its magic in show six as the front man from Bread, tonight singing live once again, Mark Roberts is David Gates. Well done, Mark. You know, 
If you're looking for accuracy, all you have to do is check your old bread records for what's going on here. I'm telling you, hey, I've got something to tell you. David Gates, fax through message for Mark Roberts. I have heard of your upcoming performance of Stars in the Rise and I want to wish you the best of luck. Hopefully, Make It With You will bring you the same success as it has for me. I appreciate you choosing this song and I'll be anxiously awaiting the results once again. Best wishes. You are one of the nicest men we've had on the show and I hope it does bring you success as well. If you want to cast your vote for David Gates, the number to dial is 0891980006. And, by the way, what do you think of being backed by a gorgeous orchestra? A 30-piece live orchestra under the direction of Mr Ray Monk, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Mark Roberts as David Gates. Off he goes. Thank you, Mark. Well done. Now, please don't phone in until the end of the show. You have to hear all the finalists sing, otherwise it's not fair, and thousands have called already, but that's OK by me, because you don't register a vote anyway, but you still get your ten pence. So that's fine, keep on phoning, I'll retire early, I don't care. <laughs> we have been treated to R. Kelly, Karen Carpenter, Gary Barlow, Al Greenshare and David Gates. So we're exactly halfway through. So and don't forget, it's not just the phone vote that'll decide the 1998 series winner. Interneters can also take part in our live vote. Oh, by the way, did I tell you, you see this scoreboard here? Virtual reality. It doesn't exist at all. It only exists in cyberspace. It's not really here. Just like we're not going to be. I'll see you in a couple of minutes. <laughs> Welcome back to the Stars in the Rise live grand final. We're halfway there with six finalists down and six still to go. We've already swayed to R. Kelly, bopped to Karen Carpenter, smooched to Gary Barlow, popped to Al Green, Rock to Cher, and David Gates has made it with you. There are six singing sensations still to come. Can we take any more excitement? Of course we can. This is Stars in the Rise. We've been in training for 12 weeks and we can take all the excitement going and then some. Which is just as well, because when it comes to excitement, finalist number seven is full of it. She's Elaine Rennie. <laughs> Elaine is known all over Newcastle for her busking. And just because she's a Stars in the Rise winner, it hasn't stopped her getting out in all weathers with her two little dogs to raise money for charity. But tonight she'll be performing in front of a much bigger audience something she might have to get used to, because if she wins, heaven really could become a place on earth for Elaine. I used to watch Top of the Pops and thought, oh, yeah, when I get big, I'd love to, you know, and I used to sing along with ABBA when I was that age, and uh, <laughs> it's still a real big desire to, like... But now I want it to be for other people's benefit, if possible, whether it's money or happiness through the music, to help people do some worthwhile good with it, you know, while I'm here on the earth, you know, heaven's a place on earth. It's literally true in my life, you know. I was happy to be on Stars and the Rise over the moon about that. Happy. She has a personality as big as her voice. She's left the wee dogs at home, but I bet they'll be watching along with the rest of North East Shields as tonight's singing live once again. Elaine Rennie is Belinda Carlisle. <laughs>
fantastic. <laughs> you know what this is? These are the flowers actually sent by Belinda Carlisle. Really? Yes. Oh, thank you. And <laughs> this is the fact she Thank said. you, Belinda. She said, best of luck for tonight. I hope you win. Really? Love, Belinda. And that's I it. love I you too. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> oh, wow. Well Thanks. It's a performance. If you want to cast your vote for Belinda Carlisle, the number to ring is 0891980007. She's an excitable girl. And as you know, you can boot up your hard drive. Thanks, Belinda. And point your mouse towards <laughs> www.itv.co.uk. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Elaine Rennie as Belinda Carlisle. <laughs> well done. The voting lines are still not open, and it doesn't matter how many of you try to get your vote in early, the lines won't be active until the end of the show. Now, from North Shields, we jump on a jumbo, hit Highway 66, and head down California Way. In show eight, we had the sun-soaked, laid-back beach scene with Denny Doherty, brought back from the 60s, thanks to finalist number eight, Craig Rutherford. <laughs> Craig's used to giving uplifting performances every day at work, so his winning version of the Mamas and Papas classic should have come as no surprise. Although when he's at the wheel of his forklift, the uplifting performances have more to do with pallets of baked beans than sun-baked beach sounds. But tonight, Craig will put the sun into Sunderland when he retraces the steps of his musical heroes. Well, here I am at the star stage, and um, in just a short space of time, the whole place is going to be buzzing. We're going to have a live orchestra and we're all going to get the chance to walk through these doors behind us again. And we're all just really looking forward to it. And then we've made tremendous friends with everybody. And um, I just feel really lucky that I'm standing alongside these, these talented people. I'm glad I've been given a second chance at it. And um, I just hope everybody out there in TV land enjoys tonight because we sure will. We're going to have a wheel of a time. From the surfer's paradise of Sunderland, and with a very proud mum supporting him here in Manchester, he's back with a song that's perfect for a balmy summer evening. Tonight, singing live once again, Craig Rutherford is the Mamas and Papas' Denny Doherty! <laughs> Just turns out that 
Well done, that's it's terrific. <laughs> hey, I just must tell them a little story because uh, yesterday when we were rehearsing, everybody was allowed to go home after they'd done their bit and it was like about nine o'clock at night. And I said to Craig, hey, you can go home. He said, oh, there's a few people left to sing. I better stay and support them. <laughs> You're a good person. And what thanks do you get? A brown crimpling safari suit. <laughs> <laughs> You're fabulous. If you want to cast your vote for Denny Doherty, Direct your digits to 08919800008, ladies and gentlemen, Craig Rutherford as Denny Doherty. <laughs> <That's good>. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've just heard the most fantastic piece of news. Apparently, 15,000 people have already tried to phone in. <laughs> well done, keep it up. It's not just California that boasts sun kissed sands full of beautiful beach babes. Canvey Island has its fair share, too. As we saw just a month ago when we first met finalist number nine, Vanessa Perry, who rocked us with her performance as Gwen Stefani of No Doubt. Since winning stars in their eyes, life really has been a beach for Vanessa and her two little girls, Darcy and Jodie. Vanessa's husband, Tony, listens to all three of them singing all day, every day. But practice really does make perfect. And over the years, Vanessa has put in plenty of practice, from her first stage appearance as a schoolgirl in Annie to tonight's live final. There's no doubt she really is perfect. When I first found out I'd won my heat, I was absolutely gobsmacked. Um, it's taken me at least two weeks to come back down to earth again. Um, I feel really honoured and privileged to be back here again for the final. Um, it's great meeting up with all the old faces and also meeting new people as well. Um, as for the final itself tonight, I'm really, really excited and I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a bit nervous, because I am. Um, I just want to do my best and do the song justice. Her two little ones have been allowed to stay up late and all for this moment, ladies and gentlemen. Don't speak, at least for the next couple of minutes, as tonight, singing live once again, Vanessa Perry is, no doubt, Gwen Stefani! <laughs>
Jodie and Darcy are going to be very proud of their mum tonight. Would you like to say anything oh, to yeah. them? Oh, yeah. Hello, girls. <laughs> Hello, girls. I haven't week. <laughs> I'll just tell you, I, I was watching you rehearse earlier and I said to Vanessa, I said, oh, you're very saucy when you sing that number. She said, oh, no, no, it's not me. It's Gwen Stefani. She does all that stuff. <laughs> and it's a very finely observed performance. Thank you. And it's very accurate Thank as well. Thank you very much. Well done, Vanessa. <laughs> if you want to vote for Gwen Stefani, call 0891 980009. Ladies and gentlemen, Vanessa Perry as... Gwen Stefani! <laughs> you see, this show brings you every musical style from progressive rock to sensitive ballads and everything in between. Tonight's the night. Oh, yes, you can sing along to your favourites, so free yourself up. Let it all hang out. Hang loose, grab the cat and jiggle about the living room. Yes, do whatever you fancy. Actually, I fancy a quick break before I bring you our final three finalists, so don't go away. Welcome back to the Stars in Their Eyes live grand final. Now, as you can see from my glorified calculator here, we've had nine star guests, so we have three to go. Then it'll be up to you to get on your phones or log on to your computers and launch one of our finalists from mere stardom to superstardom. It could be our Karen or Gary, Al, Cher or David, maybe Belinda, Denny or Gwen, or maybe one of the three finalists we've yet to meet. Finalist number 10 is the elegant Deborah Christopher, who brought the wonderful Billie Holiday back to life. Do you remember her? Deborah lives with her daughter Simone in Wembley, Middlesex. They share their house with another more unusual occupant, a large, slippery and difficult to find Burmese python called Nake. When she isn't practicing her jazz diva Billie Holiday, Deborah usually has her nose in a book. She's a qualified social worker studying for her MA in psychoanalysis and culture. Her winning Stars in Their Eyes performance was the first time she'd ever sung in public, something she found easier than finding that Good snake. Girl. Can't believe that I'm going to be performing in front of 15 million viewers live. So I, this is absolutely wonderful. It's all been a great experience. I'm so looking forward to seeing everyone else on television and their performance. It's been fabulous, working alongside a professional crew and lots of other talented artists. It's all been great. She's got beauty, she's got style, she's got talent, and she's got her mum and dad in the audience. Tonight, singing live once again, Deborah Christopher is Billy Holiday! <laughs>
enchanted me The scent of smoldering leaves The wail of steamers Two lovers on the street Who walk like dreamers Remind me of you. You, you absolutely amaze me. This is only the second time that you've sung in public, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is, yes. It's absolutely astonishing. Thank you. And you're lovely, you look gorgeous, and the voice is wonderful. That's great. How's the <laughs> MA going? Um, it's a uh, assignment's handed in. <laughs> you know, she's had to do an assignment this week. She was, she was ringing it in from the hotel. I don't know what your phone bill's going to cost. <laughs> You're fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you. Great. If you want to vote for the First Lady of Jazz, Billie Holiday, then dial 0891980010. Or you could go all technical by getting online to vote on our website, which can be found at www.itv.co.uk. And the rest, of course, ladies and gentlemen, Deborah Christopher as Billie Holiday. <laughs> I, I must tell you that the lines, the, the web lines won't open until the end of the show and the phone lines won't open until the end of the show. Over 20,000 people have tried to ring already and on the website over 150,000 people have tried to register a vote. You'll have to wait till the end of the show, I promise you. The voting lines will be open in uh, oh, about 15 minutes so you haven't got long to wait before you get to have your say. But our First, our penultimate finalist, a young man who won through from five talented star guests just two weeks ago. Say hello again to finalist number 11, Neil Diamond, or Jason Searle, as we like to call him. It was just a couple of weeks ago when we first saw Jason down at the local pool. And he would be the first to admit that he's not really an Olympic swimmer, but his singing performance is a solid goal. Jason's ideal job is not to being a Baywatch lifeguard, but singing. And tonight it's his big chance to really make a splash. First thing, I got out there, gave it a lot of hard work, and got out there and really enjoyed myself. And when they said I'd won, I, I just couldn't believe it. I really couldn't. And like tonight's show, I'm going to try and repeat that performance, get out there and hopefully enjoy myself and give, it, give the artist that I'm doing real justice and really enjoy it. That's all I can do, really. He's back with a big hit, he's back with that smooth voice and he's back with that spangly top. And tonight, singing live once again, Jason Searle is Neil Diamond! <laughs> Hello again, hello. Just called to say hello. I couldn't sleep at all tonight. I know it's late. You're there at home. Hello. 
just need to hear Hello, my friend, hello It's good to meet you so How proud am I of you? God, you had a few nerves today, didn't you? Certainly did. Yeah, I think it's amazing that you've made it to here. In fact, the most perfect description I heard from you was when Jason was on the phone to a newspaper today and they asked him what it was like to, to be doing this now and he said, it's like falling, falling and then a feeling of greatness. Have you got that feeling of greatness now? Yeah. You deserve definitely. it as well. Congratulations. If you want to vote for Neil Diamond, the number to call is 0891980011. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Searle as Neil Diamond. <laughs> We've seen 11 stunning performances, but there's just time to see one more. Finalist number 12 was on this very stage just seven days ago. Hardly worth her going home, really. She's back with her dynamic performance as Jacqueline Abbott of the Beautiful South, a showstopper that gave her the one remaining place in our grand final. It was Karen Noblet. Mother of two, Karen balances a full-time job and the demands of a young family. Mind you, her husband Michael helps her out. As we all saw last week, Karen's worked at the same bank for 14 years, so there'll be loads of people from home in Preston rooting for her. And come Monday morning, Karen will be signing autographs while her customers are signing cheques. But one thing Karen's banking on is a cracking reception tonight. It's all happened really fast. I mean, I'm standing here now, sort of ready for the final, and it's only seven days since I was actually on the television. Um, I mean, I, I just nipped into the local shop the other day just to, to buy a newspaper. <laughs> I felt like a local celebrity. It was really funny. Um, I'm, I'm a bit, a bit sort of uh, apprehensive about going on last, a bit daunting, but I think once the door's open and I walk down the steps and I hear the opening chords of the music and my tummy goes, I think uh, it, it'll all be well worth it. The bank is shut, the customers have gone home. All that's left is for Karen to cash in on her talent. As tonight's singing live once again, Karen Noblet is the beautiful South Jacqueline Abbott. Everyone 
I've got something for you. Jacqueline Abbott was thrilled to have someone be her on Stars in Their Eyes, and the band and record company have sent Karen a gold disc to celebrate her performance. <laughs> and let, let me tell you something about this woman. This is one of the most gracious women I have ever met, because while Billie Holiday was getting done up in that fabulous glam frock, you know, with all the sequins and everything. Karen was stood there in a donkey jacket and a Doc Martin, and she said, you look fantastic. <laughs> you were lovely, and on your heat, you were lovely as well. You said, she said, I thought, Vicky Carr, we're gonna win. Well, Vicky Carr's in the audience now, and she's cheering you on, and you deserve cheering on as well. It was a fantastic performance, so if you want to vote for Jacqueline Abbott, the number to call is 0891 980012, but don't lunge for the phone just yet. Wait till I officially open the phone lines. In a couple of minutes, ladies and gentlemen, Karen Noblet as Jacqueline Abbott. Yeah. Well, that's it. It's all over by the voting. We've seen 12 fabulous finalists give 110%, and now would be a great time to break out the bubbly and start the party. But that's not what tonight's about. Well, actually, it is. But <laughs> there's just a small matter of the vote to deal with. In just over five minutes, I'll be opening the lines and you at home will decide who will be the 1998 Stars in Their Eyes series winner. Last year's live phone vote was the biggest in British TV history and who knows this year it might be even bigger. So limber up your dialing digits, click on your computer and join me in just a minute when we'll recap all the numbers and open the vote. So don't go away! Welcome back to the Stars and Their Eyes live grand final. You know, the German philosopher Goethe once said, one ought every day at least to hear a good, hear a good song, see a fine picture, and if it were possible, to speak a few reasonable words. Well, tonight we've heard 12 great songs, we've seen some fine pictures, and my words have been, well, two out of three isn't bad. If Goethe had been with us tonight, he would probably have said, Ich schaue mir liebe Stars in Their Eyes and als die Weltmeisterschaft meaning I'd rather watch Stars in the Rise and the World Cup. And he'd have been right, because Germany will lose anyway. Ha <laughs> ha. No, 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 he'd have been right, because <laughs> all our finalists have worked their socks off with months of preparation and rehearsal. They're all winners to have got this far, but only one can be our series winner. So before I open the vote, here's a reminder of who they are and the numbers to call. So let's go to Andrew Britain, the voice of the stars. Andrew! Thank you, Matthew. Finalist number one as R. Kelly is 19-year-old Damien Grant from Manchester. His number is 0891-980001. Finalist number two is Yvonne Milligan, receptionist from Staffordshire, as Karen Carpenter. And you vote for her by dialing 0891-980002. Next is finalist number three, housekeeper Phil Lawrence as Gary Barlow. His number is 0891-980003. Finalist number four is senior personnel officer George Anthony from Luton as Al Green. And to vote for him, ring 0891-980004. As finalist number five, Brazilian-born Adriana Forster is Cher. And to vote for her, ring 0891-980005. Finalist number six appears as David Gates. He's Mark Roberts, a garage parts salesman from Bolton, and his number is 0891-980006. Bye. 
Oscar Elaine Rennie is finalist number seven as Belinda Carlisle, and her number is 0891 980007. Danny Doherty is finalist number eight, the forklift driver Craig Rutherford from Sunderland. And to vote for Craig, phone 0891-980008. Finalist number nine is Vanessa Perry, the clerical assistant from Essex as Gwen Stefani. And her number is 0891-980009. Deborah Christopher became Billie Holiday in our finalist number 10. Ring 0891 980010 to register your vote for her. Jason Soule from Surrey is finalist number 11 as Neil Diamond. 0891 980011 is the number to call to vote for him. And last but not least on the bill tonight is Preston Bank Clerk Karen Noblet as Jacqueline Abbott and the vote for her ring 0891 980012. Calls will cost no more than 10 pence and don't forget you can also vote online at our webpage at www.itv.co.uk. Matthew, back to you. Thank you very much Andrew and we do apologise if people lost the sound at the beginning of what Andrew was saying there but it's a bit of a live thing. Well, those are the names and the numbers that you need to know. We wish them all lots of luck. They're fantastic talents and they're really great people. Remember, when you cast your vote, use it wisely by choosing the best sound alike and not the best look alike. The calls will only cost you 10 pence unless you're phoning from a mobile, in which case it will be a little bit more. So pick up the phone, boot up the computer. It's all down to you now. Are you ready? The vote starts now. And you've got just a little over an hour to get your vote in. So if you don't get through at first, please have patience. Do try again. Oh, and don't forget, if you've got a PC, get onto the computer. How many times? I'm not doing the address again. I've done it so many times already. So in 60 minutes, I'll be back with Faye Dempsey, who was last year's winner, and we'll find out who the 1998 series winner will be as well. Thank you very much, Tony. I'm not mentioning your Charlotte. He thinks I'm Dale Winton. You know, we're going to start the party out here. Yeah. I can't... Oh, yes. Oh, I love you. I've got bad news for you, everybody. I'm not voting for any of you. Do you know why? Because I love you all. And you all deserve our votes. You're fantastic. We'll be back at ten past ten. Enjoy voting. See you then. Bye. Bye. in their eyes live grand final while you were watching the masked magician our 12 talented finalists have been supporting each other backstage the seconds have seemed like minutes the minutes like hours and the hours like days so it wasn't that different from watching the masked magician so <laughs> there's not much longer to wait the phone lines are mad busy and the internet has gone completely bonkers so not everyone is getting through a huge number of you are getting involved. Someone who knows what it feels like to be sitting back there as we count the votes is last year's winner, Faye Dempsey. <laughs> the final finalist, bonus number 12, beat Olivia Newton-John. He scored a total of 260,588, which means the winner of Stars in the Eyes 1997 is Olivia Newton-John. Just yesterday, she was sitting her GCSEs, so performing live in front of 15 million people should be a piece of cake. She's the youngest winner we've ever had. Please welcome back Faye Dempsey! <laughs> How are you? Fine, thanks. How about you? Did this bring back memories then? Just a bit. How did it feel? Can you remember how you felt? 
Words can't describe how I felt that it, it minute. It must have been a wonderful feeling. Just a bit. And uh, do you think they're all very nervous backstage now then? They're handling it perfectly. Are they? They are professionals. And what about your classmates? What did they think of you? They love it. They, I think they're really proud. Oh, do they really? They're great. And how well do you think you've done on your GCSEs? I'm not saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, what are you hoping for in the future? Well, a singing career, really. Well, a career in TV. That's what we all want, really. Yeah. Now, there's something special about tonight, isn't it, this performance? Because I'm going to ask you to perform as Olivia Newton-John again. Yeah. Tell us what it is. Well, hopefully, if all goes according to plan, this will be the last time anyone will see me as Olivia Newton-John. Make the most of it, ladies and gentlemen. Portraying one of the classic moments from the film Grease once again, Faye Dempsey is Olivia Newton-John. Yeah. Well done, Faye. Faye Dempsey is Olivia Newton-John, the winner of Stars in the Rise 1997. So, which of this year's 12 finalists will follow in her footsteps? We're about to find out because, as of now, the vote is closed. <laughs> right, that's it. It's all over. And if you haven't registered your vote now, shame on you because it's too late. We must say a big thank you to BT for all their help and support in setting up the huge operation that is the Stars in the Rise live phone vote. And also to everyone involved in our website. Our 12 finalists have been superb. Over the past few months, every single one of them has given all that's been asked of them and more. But the moment of truth has arrived. The votes have been cast, logged and counted. I just love that bit. Okay. <laughs> so, here are the results of the 1998 Stars in Their Eyes live grand final. So, for finalist number one, R. Kelly, he scored a grand total of 85,943. OK, finalist number two, Karen Carpenter, she scored a total of 39,347. 
Oh, Kelly's still in the lead. Gary Barlow was our third finalist. Let's see what he scored. He got a total of 47,570. Ah, oh, Kelly is still leading. Al Green was finalist number four. He scored 52,328. But Cher was finalist number five. Can she beat R. Kelly with her score of 103,954? Cher is now in the lead. Can David Gates beat Cher with his score? He's got a total of 48,692, leaving Cher still up on top there. Belinda Carlisle was our seventh finalist, and she's got 174,484. That means that Belinda Carlisle is now in the lead. Jenny Doherty, he was finalist number eight, and he scored 67,086. It's not enough to beat Belinda. Can Gwen Stefani do it with her score? She was finalist number nine, 204,197. She is now in the lead. Can Billie Holiday take the lead now as finalist number 10? She's got 114,589. It's a good score, but not enough to beat Gwen Stefani. Neil Diamond was finalist number 11, Kenny. 205,333. Neil Diamond is leading so far. Can Jacqueline Evans do it? Her score is 106,092, which means the 1998 Stars in the Rise winner is Neil Diamond. <laughs> Well, I have to tell you, this is a man that never ne nearly didn't make it tonight. How nervous were you tonight? Come very on. nervous. They're very nervous. <laughs> Do you think you'll be able to sing for us again? Definitely. Well, you're going to have to, I'm afraid. I'm going to try. I'll tell you what. <laughs> it, was, it was so nervous, he said, I don't know where to look, I don't know what to do with my hands. I said, your, fans, your hands are all right. And you can look anywhere you like, because you're blind as a bat without your specs, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> that was a fantastic thing to do, and I'm very proud for you, because if your nerves had got you better of you, you would never have forgiven yourself. I'd just like to say, everyone be backstage has been brilliant. They're like a family. <laughs> and Matthew himself, brilliant. <laughs> you deserve it, mate. You see, from over 50,000 applicants, 60 brilliant star guests and 12 fabulous finalists. Jason has got it. You see, now I'm going to ask you to just catch your breath now. I'm going to ask you to take your place on our famous Stars in the Rise stage just to sing for us one more time. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Stars in the Rise 1998 live grand final, Jason Searle as Neil Diamond. <laughs> Maybe it's been crazy 
I can tell you, you've already got your first two bookings. You'll be with Richard and Judy on, uh, on Monday and on GMTV's Get Up and Give on July the 14th here in Manchester, and that's just the beginning, I'll bet you. It's all over. It's been a truly unforgettable night that will stay with Jason forever. All that's left is to start the party. Hooray! We'll be back next year with the 10th series of Stars in the Rise. Until then, my thanks to all our fabulous finalists and to you for voting and making this the most successful final ever. I'll see you in 1999. Till then, from all of us here at Granada Studios in Manchester, thank you and good night. Well done. <laughs>